So I was trying out a little reverse psychology with the thumbnail and I guess it works. Anyway, you may have noticed that the blurred out part of the thumbnail with the chessboard was a picture of the Sicilian defense. Well, this video is for all my fellow E4 players. So if you play E4 as white, you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to what I'm about to tell you. One of the biggest problems that you will ever face as an E4 player is the Sicilian defense. It is number one, really common. And number two, it's incredibly complicated and complex and there's a lot of opening theory. And if you don't know what you're doing, playing against the Sicilian defense, you can very easily get into all kinds of trouble. Like I said, you can see here on the screenshot, the most common response to E4 at a lot of different rating levels is C5. And one of the issues that you can have if you play the main line with knight f3 and then d4 is that most Sicilian defense players are very familiar with this. This is what they play in probably 90% of their games, and they're going to be more prepared than you are, most likely. And the reason for that is when you play e4, you have to learn what you're playing against e5. You have to learn what you're playing against e6, the French defense. You have to learn what you're playing against the Karo Khan, against the Scandinavian, against the Alakines. There's so many openings that you have to study. You can't put all of your time into the Sicilian defense. But if I'm playing black against e4, guess what? All of my opening preparation time goes into studying the Sicilian defense. So you're kind of at a disadvantage right out of the opening if you play the main line. This actually kind of reminds me when I first started playing chess competitively in tournaments, I didn't really know anything about openings at all. I didn't know any opening theory. I just kind of played chess and tried to win. That's all I knew how to do. And what would happen as I got a little bit better and my rating increased and I hit the 12, 13, 1400 range, my opponents knew some opening theory. And I always consistently would get into bad positions out of the opening. And I felt like the whole game, I was trying to dig myself out of a hole, fighting back from a terrible opening position. I'm guessing that there's a good chance that you can relate to that, right? You play certain openings that you don't really know much about. Your opponent knows a lot more than you do. And you just get into a really tough position very early on. And the whole game seems really difficult because of it. So right around that time when I was figuring out that like, hey, maybe I need to actually learn some openings because I'm getting into these terrible positions, I got a book for Christmas from my chess coach at the time, and it was a book on the bishop b5 Sicilian. So against uh, knight f3 and against d6, instead of the main line d4, you play bishop b5 check, and you can also play it against knight c6, the other main move for black, you can play bishop b5. So he got me this book on bishop b5 Sicilian. I started reading it, I started learning some of these lines, and I started playing this. And I didn't know it at the time, but that was the start of a 20-something year journey where I always played the bishop b5 Sicilian lines. I still, even to this day, play bishop b5 Sicilian. But one of the things that I realized after I learned even just a little bit of the theory was that instead of getting into those bad positions out of the opening, I was getting into really good positions and the games were so much easier to play and I was winning a lot more because instead of digging myself out of the hole like before, I was just compounding on the advantage that I had gotten from playing lines that I actually knew what I was doing in. And one of the major benefits of playing the bishop b5 lines is as soon as you play this move, I can pretty much guarantee you that your opponents most of the time, like 9 out of 10 times, are going to be caught off guard, especially at the lower levels, anything under 2000. Most players don't have a good idea how to handle this as black. And so it switches it to where instead of black being more comfortable in the opening than you are, you're kind of in the driver's seat when you play bishop e5. So if you watch this far in the video, you're probably thinking, okay, cool story, bro, but why are you telling me all this? Well, I've actually decided for the first time ever to create a course where I literally put everything that I know about bishop e5 Sicilian into videos that teach you how to play it. I'm gonna be starting at the very beginning on giving you reasons on why you would wanna play this opposed to the main line. We're gonna talk about the general principles and ideas that you wanna keep an eye out. We're gonna look at specific lines that you should know and actually memorize because it's just really helpful to, to make sure that you know those. Literally everything that I have learned over 20 plus years of playing this, I'm gonna put into a video and put it in the course so that you can learn and play it just like I do as a white. So if you're rated 800 and you don't know what to play against Sicilian defense, I'm gonna be starting with all the basics so you can follow along. But if you're also rated 1800 and you struggle against the Sicilian defense, I'm gonna be putting in some more advanced things that I've picked up over the years that's gonna help you as well. So whatever your rating is, uh, you're gonna get something out of it. All right, I wanna show you something cool here. I've switched over to chess.com for a second and I'm in the opening explorer and it defaults here you can see to master games, but I'm gonna change that to my own games. You can actually select it to be your own games. And I'm gonna go E4 
c5, knight f3, d6, and bishop b5 check. And I want you to look at the win percentages that I have. So 54% win rate against bishop d7, 54% against knight d7, 51% against knight c6. Okay, that's really, really good. And just to show you, I'm going to flip to another tab here where I have all just regular master games. So these are not mine. These are just the regular master games. And we're going to go e4, c5, knight f3, d6, and we'll check the we'll check the main line. Okay, the main line, if you play d4, black plays c takes d4, look at these percentages. 40% win rate for white, 40%, uh, 35%. If we go back to mine, okay, so these are mine here, 54%, 54%, 51%. Now, I'm not trying to say this because I'm like, oh, I'm so much better than all of these other master players. No, I'm not. What I'm trying to say is that I've just played the bishop b5 Sicilian so much that I have really good results with it, right? 54% is is pretty good, I think. And, you know, you can see when you compare it, like normally um, white is only at like 40%. So just wanted to show you, I've played it a lot. I have lots of like little tricks and things that I've picked up over the years. And so I know what I'm doing in these lines. And by the way, if you're wondering why there's only a couple hundred games here, it's because I used to play on ICC a lot. So the majority of my games over the 20 years that I'm talking about are on ICC. Uh, and I just recently last like year or two switched to chess.com. So that's why there's not a ton of games, but the results are similar uh, over there as well. So having said all that, if you want to join the course, it's going to be for channel members. So you'll just click on the join button next to the subscribe button. And then it's at the checkmaters or the grandmasters and training level. Either of those will have access to the videos. The first lesson is posted now and the next lessons will be coming in the days to follow. I'm also going to be doing like a Q&A video at the end of the course, answering all questions that any members have, because I want to make sure that you're comfortable playing it uh, and, and you feel good playing against the Sicilian. So I will be answering any questions that anybody has. And for those of you who don't want to join the channel memberships, no problem at all. There's still going to be lots of free videos that I'm going to be posting just like I, I normally do. So you're still going to have access to all of those. But for everybody else who, who does want to you know, learn uh, how to play the Bishop B5 Sicilian, that's uh, how you get there. All right, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Stay sharp, play smart, and take care.